Good morning, grade five. Today I'm back uh, with a new lesson, lesson 11.2, triangles. Um, I think yesterday we started this lesson and I had sent you video and some notes regarding the lesson. I'm sure you would have gone through it. And today we are just going to review this lesson's triangles and we are going to do an assignment at the end of the lesson. So uh, what are you going to learn in this lesson? You are going to learn to classify and drawing uh, and to draw triangles using the properties. You know, triangles are classified in two ways. One, based on the sides and also based on the angles. So triangles are classified based on the sides and angles. Now, first we will go through triangles, uh, how they are classified on the base of angles. On the base of angles, a triangle can be named as right triangle, obtuse triangle and acute triangle. So what each one looks like, see, this is a triangle in which all the three, as you know, a triangle has got three sides and three angles and all the three angles are acute. What is the meaning of acute? It means the angles are less than 90 degree or the angles are between 0 degree to 90 degree. It's an acute angle. So all the three angles in this triangle are acute angles. So this is a acute triangle. Now let's see. So you can say an acute triangle is a triangle whose angles are all acute. Now this triangle, as you can see, this angle is very big. It is more than 90 degree, but it is less than 180 degree. It is known as, it is known as obtuse triangle. Why? Because one angle is obtuse. Can a triangle have, uh, can a triangle have more than one obtuse angle? No. Why? Because we already learned that the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degree. So one angle is obtuse angle, the other two angles will be acute. So this is an obtuse triangle where one angle is obtuse. Now the next one is a right triangle. You know as the name suggests it has got a right angle or it even in most of the cases it will be marked by a square corner which shows that the angle measures 90 degree and the other two angles are again acute. A right triangle can have only one angle with 90 degrees. Now, okay, now let us just review. What type of triangle is this? Can you name, name it? It's a obtuse triangle. Why? Because one angle is obtuse. What kind of a triangle is this? It's a right triangle because this angle is 90 degree or a right angle. And this is a acute triangle because all the three angles were acute. Now, this is uh, what we learned now is classification of triangles based on angles. Now we are going to classify triangles based on sides or depending on the measure of the sides. So the names are a little difficult. You should remember them. The first one is equilateral triangle. Second one, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. These are the three types of triangle when they are classified based on sides. Equilateral isosceles and scalene. Okay. Now, we have learned that you can name a triangle by looking at its angles. Can you name these three triangles? I'm sure you can do it. The first one is an acute triangle. Second one is obtuse triangle. And the third one is a right triangle. It's just a review. Now, now, 
a triangle we are going to name by looking at its sides. Okay. See, look at this triangle. What do you notice about its sides? What can you say about its sides? All the three sides are equal. They measure the same. So it is called an equilateral triangle because all the three sides are of same length. It's an equilateral triangle. The second one, only the two sides are same and the third side is different. It looks like two legs. So it is known as isosceles triangle. Why? Isos means equal and skelos, silos means leg. So when you put it together, you have a triangle with two equal legs or these two sides are equal. It is known as isosceles triangle. And the third one is all the three sides look different or they are of not of same length. So it is known as scalene triangle. Scalene comes from the word scalenos, which means uneven or unequal. That means all the three sides are of different length. So let's see if we can sort some triangles. Okay, look at this triangle. I have given you the three uh, sides as well as the three angles. All look different, right? 12 feet, 14 feet, 11 feet. That means based on sides, it is a, what type of triangle it is? It's a scalene triangle. And all the three angles are less than 90. So that means it's an acute triangle. So how will you name it? You can name it as scalene acute. And the second one, two sides are of same length, 4.5 and 4.5. And the third side is 7.2. So based on the sides, it's an isosceles triangle because two sides are of same length. And based on angles, there is a 120 degree angle and the other two angles are 30 and 30. That means it's an obtuse triangle. So when you name this triangle, you will name it as isosceles, obtuse. And the first one you will name it as scalene, acute. Now, when we, uh, when we go through the assignments, you will be asked to name the triangles in two ways, based on sides as well as based on angles. I'm sure you have to go through this uh, video and also the definitions. Remember them and do the assignments carefully. I hope all of you understood the lesson well. If you have any doubt, please message me, uh, message me through the Edmodo. And I will be more than happy to reply to you. Have a nice day. Uh, I'll come back uh, with another lesson next week. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.